Pat Brown Institute for Public Affairs at Cal State LA is an unusual kind of place. Our feet are in the university at our Cal State LA home, but our arms embrace the entire community. And we do our best to be partners and friends of all those who are working for equity and fairness and inclusion throughout the region. Former Governor Pat Brown brought his institute to Cal State LA in 1987. And our mission is unleashing the power of participation. And what that means is advancing civic knowledge and education, empowering the community, conducting surveys so that the community's voices can be heard. And specifically, we are deeply invested in Southeast LA. We are partners and members of the board of the Sella Collaborative, and we engage with our collaborative partners and the community in expanding the civic community and again, pursuing the voices of Southeast LA. Cal State LA, the home of the Pat Brown Institute for Public Affairs, is the premier public university in the heart of Los Angeles. In 2017, Cal State LA was recognized in a national study as the number one university in the United States for the upward mobility of our students, which is, of course, the central mission of Cal State LA. This year, you might have heard another landmark moment for Cal State LA when the United States government selected Cal State LA as the first location in the country for a COVID-19 vaccination center run by the federal government. And in that opportunity that was presented to Cal State LA, we not only served people at our campus, but made sure to reach out to the surrounding communities, including Southeast LA, to make sure that everybody had a chance to be vaccinated. A moment and opportunity we were very proud to participate in. Civic U and Civic High are two signature programs of the Pat Brown Institute. We bring to the communities of LA County knowledge and information about how government works at the local level and how people can influence that government. We teach high school students through Civic High about how to deal with the fact that there may not be a traffic light in a corner and people may have been injured, even killed. Who makes those decisions? How can those decisions be influenced in a positive way? In a really exciting way, we combine Civic High and our debate program in which we bring major candidates together when they're competing for office to train young people in CELA to run these debates, not as a mock debate, but as a real debate where the candidates have to face high school students who have been trained on the issues and are prepared to be moderators, panelists, timekeepers, and even ushers at the event. In cooperation with the YMCA, and with the League of Women Voters of LA, we put on candidate debates in District 5 of the LA School Board races. These are very hotly contested races, and our students did a phenomenal job. The candidates were impressed and had to respect them. Really, one of the high points for me was one debate when our 15-year-old moderator turned to one of the candidates and said, your time is up, and that candidate had to stop speaking. For too long, the voices of Sela have not been heard in the halls of power. And there is no better way to get there than for the civic arena to be expanded to make sure that the people of Sela are inside the circle of the civic arena. That's the heart of the kind of work we are doing with the Sela Collaborative and which our other collaborative board members are working on all the time. At the end of the day, this helped us all work together to create the landmark Sella Agenda, which I urge you to look at, in which the voices of Sella and its leading organizations develop the list of issues and things that are needed to allow Sella to truly prosper and to grow. We hope you'll look at it and we bring it to the attention of our elected and our appointed officials here in the region, throughout LA County, and throughout the state. Learn more about the Civic Agenda and see if you can participate to help make this a reality.